Now we're going to look at shooting on location. Shooting on location is similar in some ways to studio, right? You have a video camera, you have talent, you have people who are doing things, but it's very different in other ways. So let's go ahead and take a look at what shooting on location is and how it differs from the studio situation. Some of the basic ideas of location shooting include this hurry up and waiting. And you say, hey, Professor Warden, isn't that the same thing you said before when we were talking about studios? Hurry up and wait? And my answer is yes. Hurry up and wait is kind of a basic concept that happens in all of production. You get there and then you're waiting around. Now, one way that you're waiting around is the schedule is not good, things are not planned. That's very bad. But even if there's a very good plan, still, not everyone is doing something all the time. So you're waiting while someone else is doing something. And then when you're doing something, other people are waiting for you to finish. So hurry up and wait is kind of the normal approach even when you're on location. You have to be careful on location though because you can't waste time. So planning is really the key to reducing that problem. And that includes having your script, your shot schedule, your storyboard, everything planned out. So what are some of the uh, pros of this location shooting? Well, on location is not always outside. So today I'm gonna show you some examples and my examples actually are on location. And this is something you may be asked to do in the future, especially if you're in a university or in a company and you're doing some video shooting, you're responsible and the boss or the director or professor asks you to record someone's lecture or record a visitor or record some kind of event or some kind of party or something like that. That is on location, but it's not outside on location. So today's example I want to show you is on location inside. We had some guests from another university come and visit us from The Hague, and they were, uh, he was giving a talk and giving a class, and then we had some presentation at the end of the few day class, which were students' presentations. So the department asked us to go ahead and record those. So that's on location. So the first thing about location is when you get to a location, you need to set up. And when you set up, it's always going to take time. It seems like it would be easy, but in fact, it's always a slow, slow process to set up. It's never going to be fast. There's always the situation where you forget something. I've never gone to a location and we had 100% everything we needed. Somebody, especially me, always forgets something. And the other key point is, something always goes wrong. Well, Professor Warden, isn't that what you said before about the studio? And the answer is yes. Something always goes wrong in the studio and something always goes wrong on location. Something always goes wrong. And sometimes that wrong can be a small thing or a big thing. But my experience is even a small thing means you cannot begin recording yet. You're being held up very, very troublesome. So you really need to prepare for something going wrong. Now in the studio you come early, maybe even a day early. On location, is that possible? Probably not so possible, but you can try to get at least as early as possible. So if there's a speech you're going to record and they begin at 1 p.m., then you should probably set up maybe 10 in the morning, 11. Don't wait until that last hour because when something goes wrong, you're not going to be able to solve that problem. Here in this case, we're setting up the camera and our, our, our student who came to help actually set the camera up in a very normal way and then some other students were helping along with that. So let's continue. When you're shooting on location, there are some things that are very positive, some pros some advantages and one of the biggest advantages is light. So when you shoot outside you're going to have lots and lots of light and the light is for free. You don't need to plug it in, you don't need to have an extension cord because it comes from the sun. That's really really helpful. 
Also on location, you have lots of scenery. Even if it's someplace kind of ugly, like uh, some rundown building or a construction site, even something like that can look great on video because it just so much, it's everywhere. It's in the background, it's in the foreground. And you don't need to do anything, it's all right there for you. Of course, sometimes you can be somewhere really beautiful, like in a park or in a forest. But even somewhere that's industrial, like a factory, can be really interesting for video. So that's a great advantage that you don't get in a studio. Just that visual interest, you automatically get it. Before you go to your location, you need to set up, or you need to pack, basically, your setup. And so how do you pack? You need to have some bags and things like that. One thing I find is very helpful is a backpack, like here. And a backpack's great because you can put it on your back. And here you can see we've got some audio cord in here. We have some tape. We have, uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. And here we have a bag of sand, a sandbag. Very helpful for weighing things down. Okay, here we are at the hardware table. Now we're going to look at some things that may be very convenient or often used when you go out on your location shooting. Location shooting is a ton of trouble. And of course, we've covered bags before. We've looked at things like how to pack up. But today, let's just grab a couple other ideas or a couple things that you might find. So, for example, I think we've talked about the monopod before. So the monopod is the tripod that just basically has one leg, right? A monopod is not three legs like the normal tripod, but one leg. Now, I just remind you of it again because it's always handy to have it if you're shooting still photography or if you have a video camera you need to move around a lot. You sit down and take a shot. It's easy to think that you go out shooting and you're going to need a tripod, you need to have the camera recording for a very long time. Sometimes that's not true. You just want to shoot a little bit here, a little bit here. And when you get back, it actually makes your editing easier if you just shoot little bits here and there. And that's where the monopod comes in very handy. I have a strap and I can throw it on there and move along. Okay, so that's the monopod, very handy. 